we're going to open NetBeans and learn how to implement this class diagram. So I'm going to open up NetBeans. I'm going to create a new project. I'm just going to call this one uh, Classroom Example. Okay. So going back to the class diagram, our main class is called main. So in NetBeans, I'm going to change class name in this create main class box. I'm just going to call it main, uppercase M. Okay. So project name, classroom example, main class will be called main because we want to follow the class diagram. I'm going to hit finish. So now we have now we have the main class. Okay. I'm just gonna delete the comments. The main class will be the entry point of our program. So we're gonna instantiate the other classes later inside the main method. Okay, so now we have the main method created. The next thing that we want to implement would be the other two classes, the other three classes. Let's create the student class. So in this example, we just want to create all the classes inside the same location as the main class. So I'm going to right click on the default package. This is where we want to create the other classes, new and then Java class. It's going to ask for the class name. We want to call it student. Hit finish. Okay, the syntax for the class will automatically be generated for you. And now we have student. Next, we have the teacher class. So same process, right click the default package, new, and then Java class. We'll give it a name, teacher. Hit finish. I'm going to delete the comments. Finally, the room class. Let's call this one room. Hit finish. Okay, delete the comments. So in our project panel, we can see all of our Java files that contains our classes. So we have the main class, room class, student class, and teacher class. So as you can see, the basic syntax for creating a class would be pretty simple. So the keyword public is for the visibility, which we will discuss later. We can just omit that for now. So to declare a class, you just need the keyword class and then the name of the class. Okay. If you save this, we're not going to get any uh, syntax error. I'm going to go to the student class and delete. The keyword public. So the only syntax that you need to declare a class will be the keyword class and then the class name and your open and close braces. So going back to our diagram, the next thing that we need to do is to define the attributes and methods. We only have one each. Class diagrams should indicate the data type and other information about the attributes and methods. But for now, we are going to follow a simple uh, diagram. Diagrams in the future will be more descriptive. I'm going to open the student class, student.java. Inside the curly braces of this class, I'm going to write string name, semicolon. So we're done with the first attribute. To create a method, we say void, and then the name of the method, open and close parentheses for the parameters, and then the method will have its own pair of curly braces. We're going to discuss what the, what the keyword void means in future discussion. For now, we're using the minimal required syntax for defining classes, attributes, and methods. So the method say hi should contain something. So let's try to use a simple print line statement. 
I'm going to say hi. So hi, and then the name. So we're going to do the same with the teacher class. But since they have the same attribute and method, I'm just going to copy this. Go to the teacher class style and paste it. I'm going to do the same with the room class. Paste that. But instead of say hi, it's, it should be accommodate. Okay, so the room will have the accommodate method. So for now, we don't know what to do with uh, the accommodate method. We just put it there. I'm just going to delete the print line for now. We just want to satisfy the minimum syntax requirement for defining classes, methods, and attributes. So we have successfully implemented our class diagram. So for now, let's go back to NetBeans and see how we can instantiate these classes inside our main class. Okay, so we are back in NetBeans. We have our project panel. The location of your class files are very important. So as of now, they are in the same location. I'm going to open my main class. Inside my main method, I'm going to start instantiating our classes. So let's start with a student class. I'm going to say student, and I'm going to give the student a name. Bentong equals new student. So if we save, if we build and run, it's just going to say build successful. We don't really have any output statements, but somewhere in our RAM, an instance of the student is created. Okay, let's do same thing for the teacher. So teacher, let's say Pedro, what's new? Teacher. Again, what um, we're going to build and run, we're not going to see anything. What's important is that there are no errors. So that means our instantiation is working. Let's do the same thing for the room. Let's give this a name room 101. What's new? Room. Save, build, and run. And then if there are no errors, then we are successful. If we have all of our classes in the same location as the main class, we can instantiate them with no problems. Okay.